welcome you all today we are going to discuss uh, some of the mcqs on the overall syllabus of the nabard gade exam okay the first question is the fraction of the water entering the soil that must pass through the root zone in order to prevent the soil salinity from exceeding specified specified value is known as option is gypsum requirement water requirement leaching requirement irrigation requirement or lime requirement first understood the question first okay there is a fraction of the water it is entering into a soil okay that must pass through the root zone okay which it should not move any other ways it should pass through the root zone in order to prevent the soil salinity therefore this is the main objective of the movement of the water inside the soil from exceeding a specified value is called as okay we are not at all talking about the gypsum here therefore this option rules out and if it is a water requirement we can directly tell that this is the water which required to the growth of the plant okay let's keep this and irrigation requirement we are not at all telling yes it is a water needed for the growth of the plant as irrigation no we are not talking about that and lime we are not all uh, talking about the requirement of the light okay we are the main source is a water and objective is to prevent salinity that must exceed a specified value therefore answer will be your leaching requirement okay that's the fraction of the water it entering the pass uh, soil that must pass through root zone a which uh, which in order to prevent soil salinity is called as your leaching requirement okay next question the urea contains a nitrogen in the form of okay in the chapter of fertilizers and nutrients i explain everything okay what is urea is what it the main uh, consist of and what are the nitrogen fertilizers how nitrogen available to the soil or sorry the plant in the different forms either in amide form or ammonical form or amide ammonical form etc right there are so many examples also i gave there thus the urea contains a nitrogen in the form of okay is it, is it a nitrate form or an ammonical form nitrate and ammonical forms amide form and all of this okay the answer is your amide form this is a famous question and is very a uh, common also okay the urea contains a nitrogen in the form of a amide okay this is a amide formula next question the rainy day is called when the amount of the rainfall received in a particular land in 24 hours is so. then what is the rainy day this is the rainy day the question is already uh, appeared in the last exam last year the options are it is less than 1.5 mm or less than 3.5 mm or more than 5 mm or more than 2.5 mm or more than 4 mm okay answer is any week any day we according to i am the internet that is your indian meteorological department a rainy day is called to be when the amount of the rainfall received if it is more than 2.5 mm within 24 hours is called as the rainy day therefore answer will be your d right next which among the following fishes is not a surface water what is a surface water fish surface water fish is uh, to be called as a pelagic zone right the pelagic zone the water with the fishes is present in that uh, the pelagic zone is called as a pelagic type of fishes that is a surface fishes but are not they were asking which are not is this an anchovies or sardinus a flat fish mackerels or tuna okay answer is the flat fish okay apart from the flat fish these are all called as a surface water fishes or pelagic zone fishes what are this pelagic zone fishes pelagic fish range is a size from a small coastal forage fish such as herrings and sardinus to large apex predator that is your oceanic fishes such as bluefin tuna oceanic sharks etc benthic fish okay just absorb the two words here okay this is the pelagic fish range and then benthic benthic is nothing but the fishes which are present on the bottom bottom area that is called benthic fish which can bury themselves include a dragon nuts flat fish sting rays etc this flat fish are an order of ray finned benthic fishes which lie flat on the ocean floor 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द मिल्क फीवर इज कॉल्ड सॉरी इज कॉज इन एन एनिमल्स ड्यू द डिफिशंसी ऑफ वॉट इज दिस मिल्क फीवर इज दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ एन फीवर विच कैन बी कॉज्ड बाई अ लार्ज नीड फॉर द कैल्शियम फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रम वॉट इज द कोलेस्ट्रम दिस इज द प्रोटीनशियस प्रोडक्ट विच इज गेट आउट ऑफ इन एनिमल बॉडी आफ्टर द डेलीवरी ऑफ द सम कार्ड राइट दैट इज कॉल्ड इज इन कोलेस्ट्रम एज अ रिजल्ट अबाउट एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ द मिल्क फीवर अकर्स विद इन अ डे ऑफ इन कार्विंग ओके ओल्डर काउस विच आर टू आर मोर लैक्टेज टू आर मोर लैक्टेज सीम्स टू बी मोर लाइकली दैन द फर्स्ट कार्ल हाइवर्स टू हैव मिल्क फीवर बट काउज ऑफ एनी एज आर ससेप्टेबल फॉर दिस मिल्क फीवर दैट इज द इन विच देर विल बी अ सफिशियंट देर इज एन there is a more uh, if it is a more amount of an uh, calcium if it is need if a deficiency of this calcium leads to the milk fever of that animal okay therefore answer will be yours uh, c that is there is a calcium due to the caused by the large need of the calcium if it is a deficiency of the calcium in the milk or the body of an animal obviously the the animal caused is fa- it should faces the milk fever next pure forest is a type of in forest in which composition of in one species is not less than okay not less than 80% okay if it is not less than 80% then that means that means if an whole forest consisting of in one species of about 80% then it is called as a pure forest right next question the photovoltaic solar cells are made up of okay that will be not uh, the respect to an especially respect to an agriculture this is a very common general question like a met- gun metal or a carbon or silicon aluminum or copper okay answer will be yours c this is silicon therefore photovoltaic solar cells i think i will tell the over the principle behind the photovoltaic cells photovoltaic cells uh, solar cells are the type of an solar cells in which they consisting of some silicon material uh, cells uh, in which the uh, sunlight falls on the so- photovoltaic cells that uh, your direct current current convert into an ac current okay then only this uh, current um, that is a current which we used in the in our daily life right that is called photovoltaic cells it is mainly made up of the silicon apart from that we also includes gallium arsenide cal- uh, cadmium a copper indium gallium selenide etc next question in ipm integrated pest management sowing resistant varieties is an example of either it is a mechanical control or chemical control cultural biological all of the above okay integrate in an integrated pest management the res- variety or growing of resistant is a con- cultural control because we are cultivating resistant varieties no hence it is a cultural control if it is we are using any mechanical traps and all there is mechanical control if you are using any chemicals uh, for the control of the pest it is called chemical control and biologically we are using any predators for the for to um, eat up this pathogens and pests then this called your uh, biological control apart from that we are also in cultural methods we are regular farm activities intricultural operations so many right and use of your any fertilizers bio fertilizers vermi compost etc which of these is or or is not a type of in farm pond excavated or dug out ponds underground ponds spring or creek fed ponds off stream storage ponds and all of this depending on the source of the water and their location farm ponds are grouped into four types excavated or dug out ponds surfed ponds spring or creek fed ponds and off stream storage ponds okay answer will be yours that is it is not a farm pond it is underground pond under we are not farm pond the type of the pond in which the water has to be stored in the uh, on the surface of the land right then underground pond is not a type of your farm pond next new castrel disease that can be spread very quickly within a flock is caused by right what are some options like your fungi virus bacteria mycoplasm or protozoa okay answer will be yes virus new castle disease is a quickly spread through virus is a viral respiratory disease which is common in chickens 
and uh, the commonly prevented in the series of vaccination you have to be provided because it is a viral disease no we can control through the vaccinations next highest milk producing cow in the world is native to holland and netherlands india switzerland new jersey and pakistan okay what is an answer answer is a a holland and netherlands are the countries where we can expect highest yielding milk yielding cows okay and most of the varieties or oh sorry hybrids and holstein fisher and all no this are all belonging to the holland and netherlands area in which there are the very highest milk yielding uh, hybrids in the world okay the milk fever is caused by okay i in the first question i already explained what is milk fever is how it is the caused by due to deficiency of calcium etc is caused by it is in hypoglycemia hypocalcemia hypomagnesemia or bacterial infection or hypercalcemia okay answer will be yes hypo i already told due to the deficiency of calcium only the milk fever is caused it is due to hypocalcemia the grape is a commercial propagated by which of the following methods right grape plantations right is is by enriching hardwood cutting patch budding seeds air layering etc okay answer will be hardwood cutting right the grape is usually propagated through hardwood cuttings through the propagation by seeds softwood cuttings layering grafting budding they are also be used in some of the cases a group of commercial crops of perennial nature cultivated extensively in the tropical and subtropical situation which needed employment in the labor throughout of the year throughout the year and produces of in produces of which are usually consumed after processing or called as okay just don't uh, read all the sorry uh, don't read all the question just catch the keywords right yes they are commercial grown perennial in nature okay they are not annual in tropical and subtropical situation something labor obviously we know throughout the year there is no need to read because it is a perennial then throughout the year we should know right we should get it and produces are consumed after processing only they should consume okay then answer will be yours is a medical and medicinal and aromatic crops plantation crops spices vegetables and fruit spices i mean uh, vegetables ruled out because they are not perennial in nature spices also they are not perennial in nature they are very uh, season specific fruits of course some are they are not telling they were not telling in exception some of the fruits are perennial in nature some of them are seasonal in nature medicinal and aromatic crops they cannot be grown in all the tropical and subtropical region answer will be your plantation crops right a group of commercial crops of perennial nature cultivated extensively in the tropical and tropical areas which are obviously used after processing or called as plantation crops like your tea coffee rubber etc which ministry finalized the products one district to one focus products right option will be ministry of micro this is a important questions this type of an ministry wise questions are very important okay i will give one trick uh, to this to to, un, uh, to understand or to uh, approach this type of questions okay take very very important ministries like your ministry of agriculture right second one ministry of health third one ministry of education right farmers welfare agriculture and farmers welfare right ministry of defense right these are some some um, major major ministry of finance this very very uh, six to seven ministry just to focus on and ministry of rural development also like this okay which are respect to your agriculture and rural development with respect to health education defense finance very very important ministry just go through the uh, what are the, the schemes they are uh, in releasing this year or the schemes are in the news okay these are the very very important it takes uh, okay it takes 6 to 7 ministries and uh, important uh, schemes under it okay this is which ministry finalized the product one district one 
focus uh, products like uh, ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare in consultation with the ministry of food processing industries has finalized the products for the one district one focus product right right these are the final uh, have been identified from the agricultural horticultural and your uh, animal poultry milk fisheries and aquaculture marine sectors for about 728 districts across the country okay next the gobardhan scheme is run under which ministry okay the ministry of rural development is a ministry of agriculture ministry of jal shakti ministry of new and renewable energy and none of the above okay the gobardhan scheme is run under uh, the ministry called as your sixth that is your ministry of jal shakti okay uh, this is a gobardhan scheme the galvanizing organic bio agro resources dhan scheme is implemented under the swachh bharat mission gramin phase 2 by the department of drinking water sanitation under jal shakti ministry okay the full form of ica okay this is a very simple question to be answered therefore 17 the answer will be yours this is a that is indian agriculture research uh, research station agri indian count sorry this is iara indian agriculture research institutes and icars indian council of agriculture research please note down these points are very very important and very basic to be answer okay next question what is the cropping intensity of in india in percentage according to agri stats of 2020 options are 135 125 110 143 168 5% okay in the percent they are asking what is the cropping intensity the cropping intensity of india is 143 as per 1670 it's a, it's not it's very not uh, so uh, newest record to be maintained and this is published under the directorate of economics and stats therefore option will be your d 143 next which of which is the leading state in the total grain food total food grain production according to recent and latest agriculture statistics 2020 by directorate of economics and stats okay answer is the your b that is for uttar pradesh uttar pradesh is a leading producer of the food grain production according to directorate of economics and statistics it next which state is the largest producing state for the total fruits according to second advanced estimates of horticulture 2021 this type of the questions one or two we can expect in the exam which state is highest which crop is highest in their area or which state is highest in their production or which product is is uh, important to the export uh, point of view like this okay andhra pradesh is the largest producing for the total fruits right therefore answer will be your a next question in which of the following options are not correlated with each other for example I mean options are axil that is which is not uh, like remove the false one like that accelerated irrigation benefit program major and me medium irrigation projects harkhet ko pani minor irrigation project pearl drop more crop precision agriculture system watershed development rain water conservation micro irrigation creation of the new water resources okay therefore options will be yours that is e micro irrigation creation of the new water resources okay you can uh, please comment which is these four components uh, often very very important scheme that scheme i already explained in the previous classes right therefore this is the which is not belonging to all this uh, four options what is the premium of an annual commercial or horticulture crops under pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana okay what is the premium as a 2% 1.553 or none of the above therefore horticultural or commercial crops is a 5% and your uh, uh, cereal that is your kharif crops will be 2% and rabi will be 1.5% right then icr has um, announced the outstanding women scientist award in the name of uh, who is the person who got it prize that is a simple way vasanthro naik panjabro deshmukh rafi hamad kidwai Mr C Subramanian Mr Dr M S Swaminathan 
ओके दे हैव नॉट मैंशन एग्जैक्ट ईयर टू बी विथ विच ईयर मे बी इट्स इट्स अ न्यूएस्ट दैट इज युअर पंजाब रो देशमुख इज अ पर्सन हु शी शी गॉट एन विमेन साइंटिस्ट अवॉर्ड ओके नेक्स्ट एक्सटेंशन टीचिंग मेथड्स आर क्लासिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर फॉर्म्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिटर्न फॉर्म ए स्पोकन और ऑडियो विजुअल फॉर्म विच आर द आवर नॉट द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द ऑडियो विजुअल टीचिंग मेथड्स राइट इज इट अ रिजल्ट डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन और डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन पोस्टर्स और सर्कुलर लेटर्स मोशन पिक्चर्स और मूवीज शार्ट्स एंड स्लाइड्स एंड फिल्म स्ट्रिप मॉडल्स ओके option will be yours which is not an example of audio visual okay that is your circular like circle letters letters which is a re- reading form right we cannot be but we cannot see it we cannot not see we cannot be listen right this these can be result demonstration if you tell demonstrated it we can see it and by the voice you can read it okay we can listen right demonstration posters also but letters how can we we can read okay we cannot listen them right which is not example of this next a market in which there are more than two but still a few sellers of commodity is termed as a. there are many more than two but still few sellers okay there are less sellers but uh, but very few sellers of a commodity is uh, termed as is a monopoly market duopoly market oligopoly market or monopsony a perfect competition right okay if it is a more than one uh, the people to buy but there are few sellers of the market will be termed as the oligopoly market okay poly that is mean very very less few people to buy but there are sorry few people to sell there are more than more people to buy are called as an oligopoly market right where in the market or industry is dominated by the small group of large sellers who realize their interdependent in their price pricing and out pri- output pri- policies is called as an oligopoly market next some plants release some chemicals which affects the growth and development of other plants this process is known as synergism allelopathy periodicity sturdity parthenocarpy okay the answer is b allelopathy what is synergism synergistic means one crop will be benefit other to grow okay periodicity that means with particular time period sturdity same thing parthenocarpy is entirely different words okay the genetic terms in which the fruit will be produced without undergoing your fertilization is called as a parthenocarp we can expect the seedless therefore uh, some plant which chemicals which affect is called as allopathic effect or uh, we can call as antagonistic also those weeds which produce seeds similar in shape size and weight as that of some crops are called as annual weeds satellite weeds efficient weeds invasive weeds or biennial weeds okay answer will be yours satellite weeds which are very similar in shape and size and weight therefore with respect to crop mix we cannot separate them due to these characteristics are called as your satellite type of weeds the fish which spend most of their life in the sea itself and migrate to a fresh water for breeding purpose only are called as cartodomus anadromus amphidormus oceanodromus none of this okay answer will be anadromus that is nothing but only for the breeding purpose they will go to a fresh water which of the following is responsible for pungency in the mustard oil phenols amino acids erucic acid isothiocyanate all of this okay the pungency of the mustard is due to isothiocyanates which is an enzymatic hydrolysis a product of glucosinolates right the enzyme which is responsible for the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to an ammonia is called as 
is it nitrate reductase lipase nitrogenase phosphatase and all of this okay the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia is caused by the caused by yours that is your nitrogenase enzymes right these are enzymes which are responsible for conversion of this therefore it is responsible for the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia by nitrogenase enzymes i already explained the nitrogen cycle several times there is no need to explain it again in this one right the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare is implementing reclamation of problem soils as a sub scheme of dash since 1617 for the development for the problematic soils on the pilot basis this pkvy rkvy project or sms that is sustainable uh, sustainable agriculture that is your uh, pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana pm kisan etc right therefore rashtriya krishi vikas yojana rkvy is a main project and this is the sub project reclamation of the problematic soils under which it is tried towards to pro- solve the problems of problematic soils in the this particular states okay on a 15 states on pilot basis right next question the anger female of a cattle above the age of 6 months to a first calving is called as it is called as sire or heifer dam bull or steer okay answer is the here that is heifer heifer is a younger female of a cattle above age of 6 months to the first calving among the following the major host of irri silk worm is is it mulberry castor coconut thistle or none of this okay irri silk is called philosema resini it is a species of the wild silk worm which produces a silk of high economic and commercial values right therefore irri silk worm is the most Uh, primarily feeds on cassava leaves as well as the castor leaves therefore option will be your b this is castor project bold the objectives are is it serving a combined goals of reducing desertification and providing livelihoods and multidisciplinary rural industrial support to the local population it is it to seeks to create a bamboo based green patches in arid and semi arid zones is it is a part of kvic board to celebrate 75 years of independence azadi ki amrit mahotsav kvic is set to replicate the project in village dolera in ahmedabad district of gujarat and leh ladakh region by the august of this year options are 1 3 and 4 is correct only 2 is correct 1 2 and 3 is correct and all the above and none of these okay option will be d all the above all the four options are correct and these are the objectives of the object uh, objectives of the program called bold right next which of the following facts about kisan sadhi scheme are true is it a digital platform to facilitate the farmers to get the right to information at the right time in a desired language through this app the farmers can interact and avail personalized advices on agricultural and allied areas directly from the scientist of krishi vigyan kendras kv kvks is this app will also help pull the official sat for the various levels to view on monitor daily activities such as farm registration live calls messages given and pending app was launched on icr's 91st foundation day jointly with the ministry of agriculture okay options will be that is your c only 1 and 2 3 is correct okay this is not uh, due to some icr 91st foundation day and all right this is due to 93rd foundation day july 2021 the nafit e kisan mandas okay this is the platforms is it an electronic trading platform with a physical infrastructure at an each proposed locations in partnership with the local farmers producer organizations the e kisan mandi has a both physical and virtual infrastructure the mandis are made at the farm gate and bringing buyers to farmers the nafid e kisan mandis will be operated by the fpo that is a farmer producer organizations which of the options are correct okay 
all the options of your electronic platform yes it is a physical virtual infrastructure it gives and bringing farmers to the uh, that is your buyers to the farms that is your doorstep and they will be operated by fpos the first state to build eco bridge for reptiles and small mammals is which is that state right is a tamil nadu maharashtra meghalaya kerala uttarakhand the ramnagar district forest division of nital districts of uttarakhand is the first where eco bridge for reptiles and the bridge which are need for the movement of this reptiles and small mammal mammals is called as your eco bridge and another example of eco bridge is present in your maisomram district maisomram of your tripura this is also very very may sorry not tripura it is a meghalaya it is also very very important bridge to be made it is present as an value uh, uh, that is your world heritage heritage site also next consider the following statement re- regarding anti hail guns that is uh, anti hail gun technology is still limited to scandinavian scandinavian countries anti hail gun is a machine which disturbs the growth of hail storms in the clouds the machine which generates the shock waves which travel faster than the speed of the sound that stops water droplets in clouds and turning to hail into an hail storms which of the options are correct option is b only 2 and 3 is correct anti hail gun is still not limited to one scandinavian countries which are already present in himachal pradesh of in india and more much more okay next which of the following state or duty has a most number of national parks in india is it assam andaman nicobar west bengal madhya pradesh and none of this okay options answer is your d that is the madhya pradesh having the more number of national parks in india because it is the area wise at a big state right it's around 12 national parks are present and 9 in your andaman and nicobar and also please remember which is the national park which recently added or which is a national park which is deleted or merged and which are the important species introduced into that national park and important rivers flowing through it is very important the official committee have that have estimated poverty in india are that is yk alagun committee or vn dandekar or n ratt and suresh tanulkar committee and c rangarajan committee okay options answers will be this is your uh, it is uh, all the three is correct it is your alagun committee dandekar committee uh, lokarvel committee then rajendra for option b this all the above is correct okay all the above is correct poor man's meat is is it cereals pulses oil seeds forage crops and none of the above pulses are called as a poor man's meat why because meat is a one where we can expect both proteins also and your fats right it's cholesterol purpose cholesterol is a bad word but fat is good for our health for the at limited condition which which is meat which provides both okay therefore if it is a veg people we cannot eat the meat they are the poor man's meat we can, and also we cannot offer the meat right for that high price therefore pulses are the one which gives a nutritious a staple food which gives both your proteins and your fat content fingerlings is a proper size for stocking in table fish production ponds what is an ideal size of this fingerling okay the fingerlings that nothing but your uh, the uh, like your seed in the plants fingerlings are the ones which have to uh, for the grow fishes at a large size right therefore options will be a size of 1 to 2 cm right this is the uh, one to as soon as the fry to become one to two centimeter grow up to okay this is a fry next to fingerlings then to fish right this fingerling uh, size will be 10 to 15 centimeter this is one to two centimeter we can expect more size in the fish therefore 10 to 15 centimeter is the the proper ideal size for your fingerlings next how many additional minus forest produce items are included in the minimum support price list by tribal affairs ministry 14 15 16 18 and none of this okay option will be yours that is 18 there is a 14 14 are the crops which are uh, is by the minister of tribal affairs in the msp list 
what is the ideal salt concentration sufficient to preserve most of the food products 12 to 15 15 to 25 percent or 25 to 30 percent 30 to 35 percent and 35 to 50 percent salts about 15 to 25 percent is the most favor or favorite for to preserve most of the food products world food prize was given to dr swaminathan in which year okay one or two questions that definitely will come within with respect to awards right in this which year it is in the year of 1987 kvk is a recommended by which committee is it ashok mehta committee balwantrai mehta committee mohan singh mehta committee santilal mehta committee or none of this okay that is option e c that is mohan singh mehta committee is a committee which recognized kvks for the first time and which is a KV cage which is uh, opened at first or second where how like that the sum of the co- uh, important questions we can expect from KVK part best time for the propagation of an apple in India is is a January to March June to July August to October October to December and April to June okay answer will be here that is a Jan to March as the best uh, time for the propagation of an apple in India how many essential mineral elements are there? Is it a 17, 14, 16, 15 and 21? Okay. There are 14 essential mineral elements and carbohydrates, uh, sorry, car, not carbohydrates, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen or not um, mineral elements. Okay. Option will be your B, that is 14. The grey revolution is related to, is it leather production, food processing, fertilizer production, soil conservation and both A and B. Right answer is a c that is a fertilizer production is the respect to grape revolution the bureau of an indian standard act was enacted in which year that is your bureau of indian standards act came into existence in 1986 that is dated 26th november okay therefore answer will be 1986 these are the answers we can cross check it through this okay thank you